Well, hello, YouTubers. Hello, Facebook people. Hello, Twitter people. And hello, LinkedIn people. This is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with you. Well, a lot of you wrote to me in the last few weeks. You said, Bob, we want to learn more about gemstones and crystals and magic. And you know, I'm so excited to be able to share that with all of you. Well, today I thought we would come here. I want to bring to you uh, a special gem that I, I love. It's one of my favorite gemstones. I have it here with me. This is known as the gemstone rose quartz. Rose quartz, you may have seen, it's a beautiful, it's a very soft pink color. Sometimes it's a darker pink, sometimes it's lighter. This is a nice rich pink gemstone and I, I just love this. Anyways, let's look a little closer at this gemstone. Now, as you can see here, this is our beautiful rose quartz. Uh, quartz is predominantly composed of silica, uh, and rose quartz occurs, it takes on its pinkish tone, when elements of iron and titanium, sometimes manganese, uh, enter, uh, combine with the quartz, giving it thus its beautiful, soft pink color. Rose quartz can be found in many sizes, from little tiny gemstones to giant uh, clusters the size of uh, basketballs. Uh, I've actually seen rose quartz made into candle holders and bookends and paperweights. This one here is just a little one, but it's in its raw form. Rose quartz can be polished or cut. Um, I like it in its just natural form, though, as you can see it here. Um, very shiny, very pretty. Many times people say to me, Bob, I'm very fascinated with crystals, but I don't understand how all that works. That seems kind of mystical to me. Well, actually, it's not really so mystical. Let me explain it to you this way. Here's the human body. Forgive my drawing, I'm not an artist. Everybody has around them an energy field, which is their life force. And this is seen among the living. In fact, we'll do a future video about ghosts, but one of the things that attracts ghosts to people is this energy field. It is what we call life force, in the Indian Hindu tradition, they call it prana, which is another word for life force. But this life force exists in every human being. It also exists in every object on earth. Now, you're gonna say even trees and plants and rocks? Yes, even trees carry that life force. So when you're out in nature and you see a tree, try to tune in to its life force. Now, rose quartz also, and here's our rose quartz, carries that life force, that pranic energy. So, when you take a crystal and you bring it close to you, this field, this life force field, absorbs the life force field of this crystal. And therefore, you start to take its energy field into your energy field. And somebody's gonna say, well, Bob, I don't believe that, that's not possible. Well, I can demonstrate that to you practically. For example, let's say we call this rock uranium, okay? Well, if I pick up a piece of uranium and I hold it long enough, scientists can measure that I now have radiation around my body from touching that, maybe just in my hand or maybe in my arm. Everything admits an energy field. Radioactive energy happens to just be one type of energy. But the radiation, the prana that I'm talking about, is a very subtle energy. And it doesn't damage the body, but it enhances the body. So people who want to draw to themselves principles that will improve their well-being. They will take unto themselves crystals and gemstones that help uh, to raise their power and their vibration. Rose quartz is a wonderful stone to use if you are struggling with issues of self-love, if you are struggling with issues of self-forgiveness, uh, if you want to draw love to you, you know, 
In magic, we don't do spells to control others. What we do is that we change ourselves to be in a place to draw love to us. And rose quartz, like that uranium, once it gets into your vibration, that power will infuse you and you can use it to enhance yourself and to draw to yourself those type of people and situations that are most beneficial to you. Now, for those of you who want to work with rose quartz, it's very simple. The main thing you need are two hands and a piece of rose quartz. Now, there is what we call the dominant hand and the receptive hand. I happen to be left-handed, so this is my dominant hand, meaning the hand that I write with, the hand that I use predominantly. My other hand, my right hand, is my uh, receptive hand. This is the hand that I don't write with, it's not as strong. If you want to take unto yourself the energies of a gemstone, and in this case rose quartz, you want to put it in your receptive hand, which for me is the right hand. Most people tend to be right-handed, so your receptive hand could be your left hand. But you want to hold that gemstone in your hand, and you want to just meditate on it, feel it, get to know it, and draw unto yourself its energy. Feel its life force moving through your body, up your arm, into your heart and soul and spirit. And if you meditate every day just for a few minutes holding rose quartz, you'll notice that you start to have feelings of self-love. You'll start to let go some of your fears and your anxieties. And you will bring to yourself an energy that makes you much more congenial with others. In fact, once you start carrying rose quartz and meditating with it, you'll notice that people start coming up to you and asking you to join them for events. You're going to sense a greater sense of connectivity. That's what rose quartz is about. It's about breaking down the blockages that stop our connectivity with others. So I'm going to ask you guys, try this. Just find a piece of rose quartz. Uh, they're not expensive. You can check online, uh, check eBay, check Amazon. If you have a local New Age store or a rock shop, that would be great. I have a great store that I buy all my crystals from. It's called Old Town Gemstones. And I'm going to put their phone number and link in the box below. If you want to call them, they can. Uh, you can order rose quartz from them. So check it out. Say, Psychic Bob told me to call, and you'll get a good price on it. Anyways, guys. So, I just want to share with you a little bit about rose quartz, what it is, how to use it. It doesn't have to be complex, but take that power of that stone and bring it into your life. I'm so glad you guys have been here to learn about this wonderful gemstone rose quartz with me. Listen, let me ask you, have you ever used rose quartz? Do you have any jewelry that's made of rose quartz? What has been your experience with this gemstone? Maybe you've never tried it and like to try it. I'd sure like to hear about what you do uh, in your experiments with this wonderful stone. Anyways, listen, put comments in the box below. Tell me what you think about rose quartz or another gemstone that you love. Give me thumbs up and uh, I'm sure glad you're here. Listen, keep it here on Thursday. We'll be having uh, messages from the spirit world. You don't want to miss out on that. Anyways, guys, I'm so glad you're here. Keep watching. By the way, you might want to pick up a copy. If you want to work more with crystals and magic, why don't you pick up a copy of my book? Uh, link will be in the box below. My book is called Psychic Bob's Book of Spells, and you can get that information link in the information box below. Anyways, guys, thanks for being here. We'll see you on Thursday for messages from the spirit world. Anyways, tell me what you think about rose quartz. Blessings to you all.